Hello and welcome to Gone Exploring. Today I want to talk about our trip to Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania. A little backstory. Way back in the 70s, we were out driving around just seeing sights and stuff. And um, came around the bend and saw this beautiful little town that was saw a beautiful little town that looked like it was just frozen in time and it was Jim Thorpe. I didn't actually get to get out of the car and explore or anything but I just saw it from the top of the mountain and it looked beautiful and I always remembered it and always wanted to go back. Well 40 some years later I did manage to go back and it was wonderful. I only wish that I had more time to spend there. The problem was I wanted to make a detour to see the Boulder Park and I thought that would be a quick little trip, but that turned out to be a lot longer than I expected. But it was a really fun place. Um, parking was hard to find, but if you go park next to the railroad, uh, pay $8 per day. That was like the easiest solution. And here's the souvenirs I got. Um, this is a, ma a magnet and it's train related because we also did the train ride there and that's a video to follow and a sticker and this was really cool I got this in a like a bicycle shop so I thought there's like something put on your bike but actually it's for putting on your walking stick so now I need to get a cool walking stick so I can collect these See, and it comes with the little nails and everything
on a crispy chicken sandwich with sweet potato fries, uh, chicken steak with avocados and chicken cucumber. Steak? No, steak salad. Steak salad with avocados, tomatoes, cucumbers, lettuce. And there's the bar. I love old bars. So I didn't really have as much time as I would have liked to explore. Um, I want to see the Ace of Packer Mansion. And that has a really interesting Disney World connection. At Molly McGuire's. All right. Hello. And go up where that card's coming from. Right now? Yeah. <coughs> right there, though, no? you get out of there? Yeah, because I'll save some climbing up the hill. Alright, I'll be back. Me down there? Yeah. So to the right of me over here is the Asa Packer Mansion and he built, wow, I can't believe they're starting this now. All right. So anyway, he, what he did was he built this house next door to him for his son, Harry Packer. And the cool thing is that the Imagineers from Disney, when they were going to build the Haunted Mansion in Florida, they felt that since it wasn't going to be in New Orleans, like in Disneyland, that they had to build something that was more uh, New Englandish. So they were scoping out different houses, and this is one that they kind of like based the Haunted Mansion in Florida on. Cool story, right? But 
it's late and I wish I would have gotten here sooner and um, I could have spent some time going into this museum because that's a museum that's open to the public. And here you get a nice little view of Jim Thorpe. Cool. Take a little careful steps. Ooh, this reminds me a little bit of San Francisco, but San Francisco is a lot steeper. So this is the story of Jim Thorpe. When he died in 1953, he was very poor, destitute. The family really couldn't afford to bury him. But he was a famous athlete. He um, did really great in the Olympics. And um, the king of Sweden told him, Sir, you are the greatest athlete in the world. Um, he was an, off, an excellent football player, track and field. It was pretty much any, nothing that he couldn't do. So anyway, when he died, they were poor. And the widow approached the town and said if you bury him here we'll let you name, rename the town in his honor. So that's pretty much what happened. Here he is in his football days. So it's kind of sad that he really didn't get, they took away the recognition that he deserved because they said that he was getting paid for doing other stuff. But as an athlete um, and a Native American, he didn't really have a lot of ways of making money back then. So in between doing the Olympics, he played for a football team and he played for a baseball team and got a little bit of money for that. Well, they said that since he was getting paid for those things, they took away all his medals, which was, you know, wrong. And here's the memorial. This is the memorial for him. It's just kind of like outside of town on a little space of its own. This is how he did in the 1912 Olympics. <laughs> 